Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Uh, we're going to do a short video showing you the features and the installation process of our new three-phase, 300-watt uh, XR650R charging system kit for Hondas. So this is a really cool upgrade on these bikes. It gives you a real charging system where you can charge a decent-sized battery, and you can run a DC or battery-powered ignition, and you can have tons of power available for fan, cooling fan, uh, headlights, heated grips, you, uh, you name it. So it's a really nice upgrade on these. So our kit includes uh, the stator and it includes a voltage regulator, which uh, I already have mounted on the bike here. I don't have one loose. We'll zoom in on it in a minute. Um, and it does require using a DC uh, CDI box. So we will have one available soon. I don't have one yet. This is an original uh, box, but we will have an RM Stator CDI box available soon that looks just like the original, plugs in just like the original, and then we'll have a 12 volt uh, battery wire attached to it. So it'll look just like this, and I'll cover how you can install it, but again, I just modified an OEM here to show as an example. Or you can also use, um, for now, while we don't have that available, Ignatech uh, makes a really nice uh, programmable DC CDI box. Spectrum Moto sells it. Um, and I'm a huge fan of it. I'm running it on this bike, on my bike for now, um, until we have our RM Stator version available. So this is a great option as well. Plugs right in, has uh, a 12 volt battery wire that has to be hooked up. And then it also has um, a connector for a switch so you can change timing maps. So some extra features. Ours will not be programmable, but this one is, is very nice if you want that option. Okay, so let's talk about how you install this. Um, the Stator installs really just like the original. You can see on my bike, this was running an early prototype of this. I had a grommet that leaked, so I've got some rust and stuff in here that's gotta be cleaned up. But uh, I've run this prototype for a year and beat the crap out of it, and it, it doesn't fail even with rust, so not, not uh, too sad about it, but it doesn't look great. Okay, so installing the stator is just like the original. You wanna pull off your side cover it's for eight millimeter bolts. Uh, you want to remove your old stator, three 8mm bolts, and your pickup coil, two 8mm bolts, um, and your wire clamp. You remove all that, you need to come up here underneath your seat, and you need to unplug your original stator. So you'll have your pickup coil connector here, it's all inside this rubber boot, and then all these bullet connectors, which is your source coil for the ignition and your lighting wires. You need to unplug all of those, feed the harness back through, and remove the stator from the side cover. New stator installs the same way. Uh, you just line it up, make sure your wires are exiting the right direction, um, get your grommet in place, uh, your wire clamp in place, pickup coil in place, use red Loctite on all the mounting bolts, and you'll be just fine. Then you can put your stator cover back on. I've still got some cleaning to do, so we're gonna leave it there. Um, and route your wires back up towards the seat area, just like the original. So stator installs very simple. Now we're gonna come up here under the seat, and I'll show you how I have this bike set up. So, you need to figure out a couple things. You're gonna mount your CDI box, it'll plug in underneath the seat just like the original, so you're kinda stuck with that location. And then you need to figure out a battery. On this bike, um, I'm a big fan of these EarthX really small lithium batteries. They fit underneath the seat. So I mount mine right here in this seat area. I did cut the, the original clip out of the way from the old CDI box. I mount it right there. Like I said, I'm using the Ignatech CDI box. I mount it underneath the frame rail right here. And I plug it in and keep all my wiring underneath the seat here. It works really well. Um, as far as your stator hookup, uh, you just, uh, as far as the ignition goes, you just have to plug in your pickup coil. So it'll be the same mating two pin connector, plugs right into the factory harness. All these other wires with bullet terminals are no longer used, okay? So they're just gonna stay wrapped up inside that um, rubber boot. Okay, then you have to mount your voltage regulator. So that's up to you. A lot of places you could put it. On my bike, I run a rear rack here for a, a tail bag, and I mount the voltage regulator here um, to the uh, support for the rack. You could really put it anywhere you like. Um, our stator will have the mating connector for the regulator. It'll have this gray plug on it and you'll route that wiring up however you'd like and plugs right into the gray plug on the regulator. Um, note here that I'm using a, a prototype regulator, our CNC aluminum. This kit will include our um, standard gray cast aluminum series regulator. So it's a little bit smaller and easier to mount. 
So it won't look exactly the same, but connectors are the same. So gray connector, your stator plugs in, and then the other connection you have to make is regulator to the battery. So we include the mating connector and terminals here, the black plug, and that needs to be run directly to your battery terminals. Okay, so you can see I've done that here with the plug. I've crimped on terminals. I have my red and green, red for battery positive, green for battery negative, and they run directly to the two battery terminals. Okay, so that is your hookup as far as the charging system goes. You just have the stator, the regulator, connect the two together, connect the regulator to the battery, and then plug in your new CDI box. Now, the only other thing that matters is you do have to switch the power to the CDI box since it's now battery powered. It's not uh, magneto powered by kicking the bike over from the stator. So if you run a bike with a dual sport kit like this bike, Aaron, you can come up here and show. This is running an old Baja Designs kit that has a, a good harness on it. And I'm running a key switch as part of the Baja Designs harness. So I switch my battery power off of this key switch through my entire harness. You can do that if you're running a dual sport harness, like I think the Tusk harness has a DC circuit, Baja Designs harness does, or if you just wanna add your own key switch or any sort of on off switch, you can put it up on the handlebars or wherever you'd like. And it does need to be tapped into the red wire on either our CDI or the Ignatech CDI. We'll have a red wire that has to be switched. So you don't wanna leave that hot all the time. You wanna make sure you can turn it off when you um, are not using the bike and then turn it on to supply 12 volt power to the CDI when you are gonna use the bike. Okay, so that's your install. Lots of ways to do it. We're providing the parts, but it can be a custom install on these bikes. So it's kind of up to you how to do it, but it adds a really powerful, serious charging system to these bikes that's just bulletproof. So you can run some real electronics um, and makes for a really nice system on the XR650R. All right, thanks for watching and check out armstator.com.